depends on the armature reaction all the machines especially the synchronous machines construction is depends on the armature reaction so all of you have the armature here the armature is stator or rotor here it's a synchronous machine so armature is the stator armature is the stator and what is the rotor here rotor is the field the field is there that is the rotor right so here the effect of armature flux armature will produce some flux and the main feed flux is known as the armature armature reaction so generally in the armature synchronous machine itself there is a flux is produced we can name it as phi a and field is especially the main reason for the flux this is the phi m this armature flux will affect on the main field he is known as the armature reaction so gen generally armature action is okay reaction means it is a negative word actually it is a negative word so that's why the flux is affected like this right armature reaction depends on the magnitude of the load and the load power factor so it depends on the load and the power factor also and the load power factor also right these two things things are very very important in case of the armature reaction next so you know that all of you have an idea the synchronous machines are two types one is synchronous generator as well as synchronous motor synchronous generator and the motor so synchronous generator the name is another name is the alternator another name is the alternator here we should discuss how the armature reaction will be affected in, in alternator so like in this alternator i already told you that the armature reaction depends on the two things one is the load as well as the load power factors these two things will be affected right first in the first load if you consider the upf load upf means unity power factor load that is resistive load so we are connecting some resistors across the load so what happened if the resistive load is connected what happened so to understand this armature reaction first we should look at some graphs so the graph is uh, give the relation between the fluxes generally the main field flux is the first thing which is in always direct axis so it should be in the direct axis right yes and we have the armature flux is there armature flux that is known as phi a it is in quadrature axis it is in quadrature axis okay so why it is in why in this direction because in the resistive load why armature flux is this direction we have to look at here generally first main field will be produced after 90 degrees the emf no load emf will be generated across the alternator so if we are using so it is in quadrature axis right if we are using unity resistive load that means unity power factor that is the resistive load then the armature current is also in this direction when armature current is in this direction the flux armature flux is also in this direction so now we should give the relation between main field flux and armature flux look at here here the main field flux direction is located this is the direction this is the main field direction what about armature flux armature flux in outside direction this is the outside and this is the outside direction right this is the main field as well as the armature flux just look at here the armature we have the main field flux has some direction but due to this armature flux the shape will be disturbed so that's why we can write like this 
if you take it if you take it for example the armature flux is like this the armature flux is like this like this this is the thing and due to the armature reaction the flux will be change its direction that means it will be like this direction changes means it will be like this okay this is this is without armature reaction without armature reaction and this is with armature reaction with armature reaction okay so that's why this is the change due to this here so finally just look at here it desert the air gap flux desert means it disturb change its direction to the air gap flux and flux to distribution become little non -soidal. So just look at here initially it is a sinusoidal but due to that it is a non sinusoidal the effect of armature reaction is said to be purely cross magnetizing effect here cross magnetizing is done here because there is no effect on the magnitude but the direction will be changed that's why this is called cross magnetization effect okay so if the alternator is used for the resistive load the effect of armature reaction is the cross magnetization next zero power factor lagging second case is zero power factor lagging that is pure inductive load if we are using the pure inductive load we have to look at here then same phenomena the main field flux is in this direction it is in quadri uh, direct axis and the emf the emf induces in this direction and here he mentioned it is a lagging power factor pure lagging power factor means with 90 degrees after the 90 degrees we will generate the armature armature current armature current and no load emf no load emf this is the ratio then armature current is in this direction okay this is in this direction then armature current is this direction then flux will be also in this direction armature flux is also in this direction just look at here just observe here here the main field main field is giving in this direction and what about armature field armature flux armature flux is reverse direction armature flux is reverse direction that means just observe here this main field flux magnitude will be decreased by this armature flux okay so if you are using the pure lagging load then main field flux magnitude will be decreases here an alternator supplies for lagging power factor loads is generally over excited lagging power factor means over excited maintain the terminal voltage to maintain the terminal voltage it is the over excited thing right next third case third case is zero power factor lead that is the pure capacitive pure capacitive here if armature flux in phase with the main field flux just look at here here the armature flux is same thing same phenomena here the armature flux is sorry main field is in quadri direct axis then this is the emf generated then it is a pure capacitive load if it is a pure capacitive load then the armature uh, this is leading the armature current in leading position the armature current in leading position so wherever it leading position then automatically armature flux also in this direction so here we can give some statements here simply if you observe here the armature flux is in phase with main field flux in phase with main field flux so the total flux is like this main field flux and the armature flux 
this value will be increases when the armature flux value increases then emf no load emf increases and the voltage is also increases so in this case zero power factor leading case the it is purely magnetization will be done here purely magnetization will be done here what happened here purely magnetization magnetization means magnetic flux will be increases flux will be increases next if it is 0.8 power factor lagging if it is 0.8 power factor lagging that means this directly we can draw it here this is the main field flux and this is the no load emf generated and 0.8 power factor lagging means lagging is in this case maybe in this direction the armature current will be maybe in this direction so then automatically armature flux will be in this direction armature flux will be direction so due to this we will have two things for armature flux it can divide into two parts one is armature flux cross magnetization uh, demagnetization will be done here ad and here the armature flux cross magnetization will be done here okay here phi ad two things have happened what are one cross magnetization as well as demagnetization cross magnetization and demagnetization that means direction will be changed as well as it the magnitude will also be varied so this is called demagnetization demagnetization and remaining is the cross magnetization okay i think all of you understand the session thank you